Hello everyone and welcome to another Oracle Hospitality Symphony POS tutorial. Today we had a request from El Kiko and he wants to know if there's a way to have two different prices for the same menu item. He would like to have a beer be $10 at the bar and $12 in the restaurant. Thank you very much El Kiko for your question and the answer is yes, I'm going to show you right now how to do it. If you have a question that you would like to see featured in a future video, please leave it in the comments below. The first thing that I'm going to do is expand my enterprise. So here under the default system view, we have the top level is our enterprise level. Then we have our property and these are revenue centers or RVCs for short. So I'm going to select the first revenue center, which is the restaurant. And under the configuration tab, I'm going to open menu item maintenance. After we open menu item maintenance, we have to click a quick search in order to populate the menu item database. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for my beers. So to do that, you can either use control F on your keyboard to pop up this find window or just click the little binoculars here at the top. In the field, we're going to select name and I'm just going to type in beer and then click five next. So I got ginger beer. That's not what I'm looking for. And now I see domestic beer and then imported beer. And I'm in the general area where I need to be. So each menu item has three different sections. We have the master record where we have our major group and family group responsible for reporting. Then we have our definition record where we define the menu item class, print class and screen lookup. And finally, the price record where we add all of our prices. Now, as you can see, these menu items are gray right now and it says they are inherited. If I try to change a price here, I won't be able to if I click in it because it is inherited from the enterprise. So the way we're going to change a price at a lower level is by creating an override. Now, I do not need to create an override for the master record or the definition record. So I'm only going to create an override for the price record. So let's take a look at our Heineken here. All we have to do is right click the rectangle, select override record and then click on use existing record confirm and now our entire row turned white and it says it's overriding and it is defined now here at the revenue center so what i have to do because i am in the restaurant change this price to 12 dollars and then save next i'm going to go back to the home page and do the exact same at the bar just i'm going to set the price at 10 dollars so i'm going to click find again look for my beer go to Heineken and remember, go to the price records. Do not override the master record because we don't need to right click override use existing record. And we are going to set this one at $10 and go ahead and save. Now, the way this is going to work now, this Heineken will always be $10 because we defined it here at the revenue center level. Even if you change the price at a higher level at the enterprise, this price will not change because this override will prevent it. If in the future you would like to remove your override, the way you remove it is a bit counterintuitive, but basically what we want to do is actually delete it. And the reason why we delete this is because the override mechanism works in kind of a different way, I guess. When we override, what it does is create a copy of that same record now that is just on top of the original one. So the original one is still underneath it there in programming. So in order to reveal it, we delete this new one that we've created. And now the original one is back where it was. So you can do that with the price records, but you won't be able to do that with the definition records or the master records if the menu item was used. So if you override a definition, you won't be able to remove that override. So be very careful with that. So I'm going to change this back to 10 and then save. And all we have to do now is go to the workstation and test it out. So here we are at the workstation. I'm going to click a quick update as always to get my settings down and I'm going to begin a fast transaction. And right now we are in the restaurant. So we're going to go to our drinks, select beer, go to our imported beer and click Heineken. So the price is $12 as expected. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this transaction. I'm going to click RVC sign in and enter my number, select the bar and do the same thing. Begin a fast transaction and then we're going to go to drinks, beer, imported beer and then click Heineken. And now our Heineken is $10 as we needed it to. 
So as requested by El Kiko, we have the same item with different prices at different levels. If you have a topic that you would like to see featured in a future video, please leave it in the comments below. If you would like to join our free Facebook group, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see everyone next time. Thank you.